Ever since I made videos on VPN and proxies, one common question which I which I have been getting from you guys is what is the difference between VPN and proxy, when to use proxy, when to use VPN and which is better. So in this video, I will try to settle this debate. I'll try to explain these two technologies to you in a very simple terms. And then uh, you would, uh, I hope you would be able to make that judgment yourself. Hello friends, welcome to ITK Funde, your own channel where we make IT interesting for everyone. And without further ado, let's understand what is the difference between a VPN and a proxy. Thank you friends, if you're new to ITK Funday channel, we make IT interesting for everyone, be it IT or non-IT. We discuss all the latest tools and technologies, products, productivity hacks and career tips on this channel. So if you're new and if you like the content, do consider subscribing. Thank you. So friends, uh, let's take uh, a real life example uh, to understand this difference and then we'll go about understanding the unique capabilities of a proxy and a VPN. So suppose uh, there is this country A and there is the secret services uh, within this country and uh, an agent from that secret service wants to get some information from country B and uh, you know a specific department 108. But obviously country A cannot directly access country B because uh, this is uh, banned, this is uh, restrictive information uh, for example. So what agent X does is it creates a proxy within his own country and that proxy is nothing but a national of country B. And then this particular proxy uses his, uh, you know, his credential to log in to that particular department where he was a part of that department and tries to get that particular information. And in this particular situation, uh, although all the information is requested by this particular agent or secret service, it seems as if, you know, this information is being requested by a national of country B. So this is where the identity of this particular agent uh, is getting uh, hidden and the message is being passed. But the important thing is that message in itself is open. So the message could be that they want to get some information from this particular department. Uh, uh, suppose that they want to understand, uh, get some information about the personal uh, addresses of uh, personal addresses of all the employees of this de department, something like that. Okay, so that kind of information is being, uh, you know, trying to be fast and using this particular proxy uh, person who's uh, actually sitting in the middle will, you know, try to get this. So this is a kind of a proxy example. Now, in the case of VPN, if we take the similar example, suppose there is a country A and agent X uh, and they want to uh, access some information from department and that particular country, what they can do is there could be a third country sitting in the middle, which is country Z. And uh, there could be one uh, person from that particular country sitting with this particular agency and one person sitting within that particular country. So when the agent passes on the request which they want, this particular agent transform this into uh, a number or a cryptographic, uh, you know, code, which only this particular person sitting here can uh, recognize. So when this information is sent over to this particular person in country Z from Z1 to Z2, it is hidden. The meaning of the message is hidden. So while the identity is also hidden, the message in itself is also hidden. So here what we are hiding, we are not only hiding the user identity, we are also hiding the privacy of what uh, data is being, uh, it's being asked for so that no one can, uh, you know, do some spoofing or look into this particular information. And then this particular age, uh, you know, this particular guy would then connect with this particular country and try to get uh, this information. Now, uh, this might sound like a detective movie or something, but it's just for explanation purpose, guys. Don't take it too seriously. But uh, yes, this is what a proxy versus a VPN does. So proxy hides your identity, where in here you not only hide your identity, you are also hiding the data which is which is in transit. So now we'll talk about the specific architecture and uh, further features of a, a proxy and a VPN. So suppose we are logged in to our office machine and trying to access the internet. Then in that case, your office machine uh, will go through a proxy server which will be within your premises and then that particular proxy server will go and try to connect to the uh, internet. Okay, so this is within the office network, a good example to understand how proxy works. 
Now on the flip side, suppose like in the COVID situation, everyone is now working from home and from home you want to connect to your office network. So what will happen is that your machine will have a VPN client installed. Okay, this particular VPN client, which I said country uh, Z and uh, you know Z1 agent, which I explained in the real life example. So that is this Z1 agent VPN client installed on your laptop and then it will pass on the message through a VPN tunnel encrypted message which no one can understand only Z1 and Z2. Z2 is nothing but your VPN server can understand. So it will connect to this VPN server and then this particular VPN server will uh, eventually connect to the backend web application server and then the communication will happen. So this is in context with uh, an office but uh, again uh, in a normal situ situation also you can use proxies to access uh, uh, you know websites which are outside into a restrictive geography through a proxy and also we through vpn server you can access uh, certain information which are restricted so now let's go through uh, some basic differences between proxy and a vpn so first and the foremost as we discussed a uh, proxy protects user identity wherein a VPN protects user identity and privacy that is encrypting the message itself, encrypting the data in transit. The second difference is uh, again very obvious, uh, a proxy server hides your IP and protects you through IP masking wherein a VPN hides your IP as well as encrypt the data in transit. So what does that imply? That implies that VPN can do both the things what proxy can do VPN can do but it can also do further encryption of your data. Uh, a proxy is used for um, uh, mostly for web traffic, HTTP or HTTPS protocols uh, wherein VPN can be used for all kind of traffic HTTP, TCP, UDP uh, because it works at OS, OS level wherein uh, you know a proxy works at an application layer. It is less secured. Obviously, proxies are prone to uh, risk. Uh, it could be very easily broken and could be very easily played around with. So that's why proxies are not very reliable and secure. Wherein if you compare VPNs and uh, now with some paid good VPNs, if you take a good VPN, then definitely, uh, you know, you will get uh, good security. I, I talked about this before. So it works proxy work at an application level wherein, uh, you know, a VPN works at OS level less reliable more reliable easier to maintain complex to maintain now obviously proxies are much much easier to set up and uh, you know maintain wherein for vpn you need to set up the vpn server you need to set up the vpn client on your machine and then these are also memory intensive so vpn consumes a lot of memory lot of cpu on your client as well because you are installing it on the client uh, it is cheaper than VPN, uh, obviously, and uh, uh, VPNs, uh, you know, are always costlier than proxies. So whenever you want to buy, if you want to invest money, uh, VPNs would always be costlier than proxies. And both, uh, one similarity which is there is both can face performance issues, but because of dif different reasons. So a proxy can face a performance issue if you're, suppose if you're using a shared proxy. So there is a shared proxy and you're trying to use uh, all the send all the requests through that shared proxy server, then you, it could uh, face performance issues wherein you can also face performance issue on VPN and that depends on the proximity or the distance of your VPN client from your VPN server. If it is too much, then obviously going to the VPN server and then VPN server routing it to actual web server might take a lot of time. So in totality, if uh, you have to choose either of one, then uh, if you can spend some money and you want more security uh, and uh, you know you want more features as far as the encryption is concerned, then obviously VPN should be your go-to choice. Proxy could be done for very lightweight surfing, you know, maybe you want to access some websites which are blocked or something. For that kind of work, you can use proxy, but if you're, suppose if you're trying to log into your uh, office environment, you want more security. So in all those cases, uh, VPNs are very, very good. So when it comes to choosing a specific product, 
a VPN product or a proxy uh, service, then obviously there are a lot of documentation available online. I'll put some links in the description which will talk about uh, some good products around uh, proxy and VPNs. But I would suggest you can spend some money and get a good VPN server or VPN service and also specifically which commits to uh, no logs retention so that there is no uh, data retained for whatever activity you are doing. Uh, via that VPN server. So that would be very very good option you can try. So friends I hope this was a useful video and added some value to your knowledge. If it did please consider subscribing, hitting the like button and commenting how you like this video and what is your feedback on the same. Also suggest some topics on which I could make my future videos and yes until next time please keep learning, keep sharing all your knowledge and yes keep hustling. Bye for now.